guys this is tough how exciting oh my gosh hi guys welcome to my channel so for those of you who don't know my name is Sianda Yabo I am a 30 year old female from Cape Town I have recently moved to Johannesburg so I've been living here now for the past three months and I must say what an adjustment so actually I had the thought about starting this YouTube channel I suppose for a very long time but intentionally last year um, I wanted to center around like what was currently happening in my life like um, obviously the move so I had taken snippets while I was like planning the move and like you know having think pieces and having breakdowns and in true fashion I didn't like save those so um, now that I'm kind of settled I figured it would be a really good time to kind of start the page and kind of take people with me on the journey um so i've moved now to my second apartment while i'm in joburg the first one was bigger and more spacious but it felt like very empty and very like had an echo i suppose um you know a single woman in the big city with the big house oh, how boring even daughter <laughs> anyway um, I've now moved to the same apartment block, um, but just a different apartment. And in this apartment, I have a backyard, which is very exciting because I am a plant mom doll. And so my kids need to be able to go outside, you know, time in the sun and all that good stuff. Anyway, the lighting here is so much better. And I think because it is smaller, I've, I've been able to make it like feel very homely. Um, which is something I was really like looking for in a space because Joburg is very different from Cape Town. There's not like in Cape Town, there's lots to do outside. Um, also, like you know, like mountains and like mountains and water. Oh my gosh, miss it. And in Joburg, not so much. In Joburg, firstly, there's a lot of highways, so you literally have to drive everywhere and like lots of the places are like in malls and like so like it's very nice when your your place can feel very homely and it's a space that you really want to be in which is which is something i was really keen to create for myself while i'm here so all the youtube videos that i've been watching in preparation for this i saw a lot of people do like a get to know me tag but i was kind of nervous to kind of ask my followers on instagram um what like what questions they'd like to ask me only because like i don't want to be a flake and ask these questions and i'll actually do the video but now that i'm here i looked at some questions on pinterest and i'm gonna just go through those and let's see how it goes so i've actually made it very like fun for myself it's during the day so I take my content during the day because I work American hours. So I'm hoping there's not always going to be like a commotion outside the door and stuff. But if so, I'll try like cut it where I can. But if not, I hope I'm projecting long in, I mean loud enough for you guys to hear me. I do want to make it fun and kind of make it like a little thing where I just pick up a question, you know. So let me just prep my page because I already wrote them down. It's not that many because I didn't want to like dialogue as well to Gisana. So I didn't want to like, you know, have like this lengthy video whereas I'm giving you zero. So let me just do this quick and then I'll be back. So I actually tried to take this video a couple of times. Um, I did it yesterday, like I had it as a get ready with me video. But I'm done for it. <laughs> Some of the shots were blurry because I think, you know, sometimes when you go onto your iPhone, like you have a times one. I think I was like on times 0 0.5 because it looked like it was taken with a VGA. And then some of it was just like the focus is in the background and I'm busy here beating my face to death and it looks like nothing. And then the last video, that one was, it was good, like it focused on me and all of that. 
I'll probably insert some of those um, videos in this video like maybe like at the end to do like a blooper because like I think I'm pretty funny and that video really showed my personality and I don't know like my is a bob and a kind of personality you know because Dean is an SD my grand I can't drink because I have work in a couple of hours because I know people usually do these with like if you're not going to answer then you sip but I'll probably answer all of them I mean, I pre-approved them, so I'll answer all of them. First one's up, do I have a talent? I have many a talents, you know? I am a multi talented babe, um, so I'm a singer. I was gonna say I sing, but actually I'm a singer. I haven't sang in, like, in public for like a long time, but that doesn't take away the fact that I have the gift, and so I'm a singer. And then I'm also a visual artist, so I draw and I paint a bit. Um, so none of these have actually been like professionally enhanced. I didn't go to school for any of them. So I've, I stopped painting and by kind of drawing academically or whatever in grade nine, because then I moved to a science school and you know, science schools, you just focused on books. And that's the same with the music. We didn't have a choir, we didn't have a school song, the school was new, so you know, there was no time to kind of cultivate that. And then in varsity, I was fighting for my life. So focusing on other things was just like tough, tough. I didn't have the mental capacity for many of the things that I actually wanted to do. And so like now I'm in a good place, you know, life is like, it's not great, but life is definitely a thousand times better than it used to be so i am in a good place and i feel like positive energy needs to be shared and i hope i'm radiating next what is your lucky number i love 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 love, love. the number five number five like everything in my life has worked in fives there are five people in my family and you know like i think I don't know if I'm superstitious, but there are certain things that I just believe. So if I see like the number five a couple of times, I just know things are going to pop. So five, love it. Next, next up, have you been out of RSA? I have not been out of South Africa. Um, fun fact, the time I moved to Joburg was my third time on a plane. So the first time I ever took a flight was in 2021, I think. Um, my best friend from high school, she got married here in Joburg, so I came down for the wedding. I think it's came up. Guys, I also didn't do geography, so and desires gonna go up and down. And I mean, yeah, or up and down, like flight-wise. And no, 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 western. Those are not things that like occupy my mind. Ben funda na, ben funda serious, not geography. Joking. Okay, anyway, um, so as I was saying, um, so that was like the first time. And then the second time I took a flight, my friends and I were going to visit a friend's family home in Limpopo. So that was the second time. And then the third time was when I moved. So, exciting. Do you want kids? Do I? No, I really do, hey? Like, I do want kids. Um... Like, if I were to get pregnant now, it would still feel like teenage pregnancy. Just because... Isn't it such a thing, you Like, it's not like a thing, you know? Like, and you do Oh my gosh. And then you go and go and... Expensive little buggers. And watch on you, and I'm going to say, and I'm going to do it because you are the home. So... Perhaps not like right now. Also, like, you know, I might be my Tracy Ellis, like... Lifetime because I'm a daughter, son. Happy, happy, but also, I'm really like I'm big on being open to the idea of adoption. I've always like liked the idea of adopting. I think, like, even if I were to have my own kids, I'll probably adopt a kid. Um, but you know, we'll see how life unfolds. But yes, I'd definitely love to have some kids. Um, I'll probably have like two. Um, I'm a I'm a middleborn and goila man goila bu middle we are goisa you know my sister's a firstborn she's a female my parents love her and then my brother's like the only boy and he's the last born my parents love him not that my parents don't love me but the middleborn so diago wanje di fila di fila last man in the sauce 
but you know, I didn't allow it. I'm so really lost in the sauce. It is what it is. Anywho, do I have any obsessions? I do. I'm just trying to think which one do I want to share? I am obsessed, like clinically obsessed with iced coffee. Like, I used to buy a frappuccino, caramel frappuccino at McDonald's. And then there was a day I had to go pay cash because you know, I'll swipe them guys. I don't know where we think this money is coming from, but and then I had to pay cash and then it was like 40, I think like 42 rand. And I was like, I literally have this like three, four times a week. Am I mad? So like now I just leave it at I, um, caramel iced coffee, but delicious, delicious. Every day, every day I want a glass. Every day, every day, every day, you know? Do I smoke? Do I smoke what? What do I smoke? Because I don't smoke nicotine. I used to be like a social smoker, but you know, it really wasn't my thing then, Papa Andre. And so I left it and then I did a bit of vape for a bit, but phew, life after 25 days isn't just up on just okay. Because the vape was just literally hurting, hurting me here. And yeah, it has a lot of oil, um, but like, it's like it leaves a layer here. And that's just what I've experienced every time I have vape. And so I don't vape, um, and therefore I don't smoke nicotine. Do I have a crush? Do I have a crush? Ciao. Yeah, I'm not I do not have a crush at the moment. Um, I decide on crushes at a whim, you know, like I'll be living my single girl life and then I'll be like, oh, he's cute. And then you'll come also not above like shooting my shot. Like I'll hit you up and be like, hey, boo, what do you do? Whatever, you know. And the last two guys I've done that to, well, guess I know. Oh, I'm a he's in a bit of a relationship. Omni was like upfront about being in a relationship. But like, you know, like I find that so funny because. My crushes are based on like interactions, yeah. Well, so the interactions with these two dudes were giving, but uh, we are in the same mind frame, Daza, you know, but clearly not because of Banabantu. So, judging y'all. But the last one I think was around um, have I been cheated on? And I'm still a woman, right? I still live in South Africa. I did cross her guys, right? So, answer is yes. Unfortunately, like even one of the dudes that I used to date in university, he married the girl he cheated on me with. And that's like, like I like to say it because Ian, Ian, Shiki, someone, it's just like, <laughs> and my daughter, OMG, OMG. Clips once. <sighs> so, I literally sped through those because I'm also a fast speaker. So I guess like guys, please just leave in the comments if like I should like speak slower. What I am going to be doing though is I'm going to be adding subtitles. I'll try add subtitles to most of my videos. I don't know if all of my videos, but I've got a home girl, Zahra, shout out. She will literally watch all these videos. And I know if I don't have English here somewhere and like in the subtitles, she's going to wring my neck. And you know what? I get it, sis. Show me, I turn the guys. And you know, I appreciate, I appreciate her her, her keenness to want to know things in Daba Mazazo Mundo Anke guys. Please. Please uh, you know. Um but yeah, so this is my like get to know me video. So essentially like I really just wanna take these videos and kinda have you guys join me on this new journey of mine, you know. Um Joburg is a very big place and it's lots of highways and the weather here sucks. And I thought I could speak many languages, but you get here and you're like, actually, and even mix. Like my first two weeks here. <laughs> Guys, the one day I went to pick and pay, and then I got to the till, and this lady, I pick up here and here and here. So I'm thinking, okay, I understand the gist of what she was saying. So she walks away, and then I'm like, I'm just standing there because I don't know what I understood, but like, 
So she comes back and she's like, hey, Mo, are you still here? So I'm like, Sissy, I don't want to lie to you. I have no idea what you said. Like, I literally have no idea what you said. Also, people in Joburg, they'll greet you. So they'll say hi, you'll say hi, and then they'll say unjani. And then you'll say, I'm good, thanks, and you, they're gone. They, they didn't even stay for that part of the conversation. Because I think, hello, unjani, is just part of, like, their greeting faith, phrase. So they don't actually need to, they don't really care to know about unjani. They just want to greet you. And so that's something I'm, like, learning. Because now I'm super, like, friendly. So, like, if you say hi, I'll say hi, I'm Johnny, and then you'll answer, and I'm just say, I'm good, thanks, and then I'll, then we can keep it moving, you know? And then, just like with everything here being super far, guys, one wrong turn. One wrong turn. One, one wrong turn. And you are going to Bloemfontein. You are going to Pretoria. The other night, I almost went to Val, but story for another day. Story for, an, I think I'm still traumatized. I drove for two hours. Two, two, two hours. Oh my gosh. My back, my, my petrol went on E. It was just a hot mess, a hot mess. But you know, we're alive and we're safe. And we need a car charger. I don't have one currently. I need to buy one. I said last week I was gonna buy one last weekend, but I, I was like in the house most of the time. But I do need to buy one. So before I left Cape Town, my car got broken into. And so I just lost those kind of things. Um, and therefore I need to buy a new one because actually if I plan to drive everywhere I need to have a sustainable battery because it is our life it is our life but yeah it's essentially really just around taking you guys with me on this journey kind of exploring with me I love that Joburg is so close to so many things you know like Cape Town is not like close to a lot of like places i guess but like you know in Joburg, you're close to bloom you're close to pretoria you're close to the wall i guess um and you know those are all like driving distance and so i'm i hate driving i hate driving but it isn't it is a necessary evil because because everything here is close but relatively far like the ubers here are ridiculous so i drive most of the time and so i think like the fact that I even drive is great because that means I get to explore a lot more places. And so I just really want to take you guys with on this new journey. I'm just like, everything's new. Everything's just like exciting. And I'm very keen to have these like video diaries for myself. And also I guess now for you to kind of tap into my life and to see what it's like to be in Joburg. Um, but yeah, so yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I really, 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 really hope it came out well because having to take it for the third time, I might die. I might actually die. But yeah, thank you guys. See you guys in the next video. Ciao. Okay, last look at him, but. I think I think I'll always do like the hey guys because like you do find you when you were even before I had like a channel in day and so I remember hey guys welcome to my YouTube channel but like when I say bye I think like I don't know like I don't know I don't know if it's a banana but you know currently my vibe is very much ciao so that's we will leave it bye guys see you next time ciao <laughs> this is tough. Firstly, you're speaking to nobody. You're speaking to nobody. You're literally just going off, you know, these are my vibes and you know, and if I need to, if I